Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens, Aries male or female watching, Aries cross watcher or Aries sun, moon, rising, north, node or Venus. If you have any placements in your chart, Aries placements, or you're dealing with an Aries, this might message might re resonate with you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love, your support, your likes, and your comments. All my beautiful subscribers, thank you so much for all your love and support. I couldn't do this without you guys, so thank you so much for showing me your love and supporting me and this channel. Okay, so basically, Aries, I'm going to get into these cards really quickly. Then I'm going to read to you guys what I have on my notebook, okay? I'm going to do it differently this time. I'm going to get straight into some cards here because I feel like it's necessary for me to... Uh, read these cards to you really quickly because I was just uh, meditating in your energy. I was shuffling these decks. I was asking the spirit to show me what's going on. What do you need to be aware of? And who is currently in your energy right now? Who is currently in your energy? Who's trying to uh, keep tabs on you? Who Who's over here trying to uh, spiritually spy on you? And who's trying to put you in mental prison? Okay, so Aries, male or female? watching this video you guys already know we speak about this you're very intuitive start listening to your intuition the first time Aries stop questioning your own intuition don't doubt yourself don't doubt the message that you're getting about somebody when they walk in your energy when they're in your energy when, when you're having these epiphanies or these realization moments you can't deny what you're seeing anymore you can't deny what these people have been doing, shape-shifting around you, you can't deny it, and you can't deny um, the fact that you don't resonate with them anymore, Aries, the fact that um, you feel uncomfortable around these people or certain individuals or this individual in your energy. This could be one person, this could be multiple people. Everybody's on a different timeline, everybody's energy is different, so you guys, put, your, put yourself where you fit in this situation, right? But there's the Two of Swords, the first card, Two of Swords, and then the star card. I'm going to put these cards back in the deck. And I'm going to shuffle the deck again. And I'm going to pull cards. But when I shuffle this deck. These are the cards that popped out. Two of swords and the star. The, the moon in the reverse. So this is telling me a whole story. This is telling me that. Somebody is actively in mental prison at the moment. Okay. Because this person was in a secret competition with you. Or maybe you knew they were in competition with you. You just didn't care enough to join the competition. You just didn't care enough to go out of your way to uh, seek revenge. Or you didn't go out of your way to one-up this person. You knew somebody was this person was in competition with you. Because every time this person came around your energy, this person looked conflicted. Or this person's energy was just like all over the place. Or this individual... Um, they couldn't be happy for you, okay? This person would always talk negatively about whatever you were doing. Or they would come to you with their problems or their drama and dump it onto you and leave it there. And they they never asked you how you were doing. They never asked you how's it going in your life. They never actually sat there and um, let you express yourself. This person is the type of person that came comes into your energy. They can call you. They could come visit you. Or they can, you know, they could just be the type of person that every time you see them or speak to them, they always have something negative to speak about. This person always has a lot going on in their life, and they always have things, bad things to say about other people. So the same way this person speaks about other people around you, they speak about you to other people. And this is what you picked up about this person. They wanted to have you a mental prison, confused, conflicted, uh, in fear, okay? So that you would never recognize that you are the actual star, that you are everything, that your energy is priceless all right it's unmatched now what you manifest you get that you don't have to sit there and put somebody down to feel good about yourself you're the type of person that you will defend somebody you love behind their back if anyone speaks about them you're not the type of person to go and take your personal problems you have with somebody and take it to someone else and start you know gossiping about them you will confront the person and handle it with them yourself between you and them this is not the person you know, this person is not the same. This person is nothing like you. This is the type of person that will basically come around you and then they will leave your house or then they'll go somewhere else and then they'll criticize you. All right? When they just actually came around and gave you a fake smile. 
this person was in a, is in a competition by themselves. This person is in mental prison and they're conflicted because you were not no, you weren't paying attention to this person. You were focused on yourself. You were focused on your journey. You were focused on your healing, and you were making decisions, taking leaps of faith to put yourself in the star quality energy. Okay, and this person feels like you know what. Since they're unbothered, since they're not, you know, retaliating against me or they're not acknowledging the fact that, you know, I'm in a competition with them and they're not lashing out at me, they're just ignoring me and, and they're, they're moving forward, then I'm going to try to bring this person some Two of Swords energy. So somebody's going to try to bring you some negative energy. You haven't been reacting to this person. You know, every time they come around, you have a bad feeling or they get a, you get a bad vibe. Or every time they come around, you just feel like you just, you just feel fed up. They do things or they say things that annoy you, that they shouldn't be doing or saying at this point. This person should have learned their karmic lesson by now. You gave this person advice, but it's, at this point, you can't, you can't even stand their energy, right? And this person is now in mental prison over your success, over your great fortune, or over the fact that you crown yourself and you love yourself and you're confident and other people are viewing you Aries as a star, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You, you know, Aquarius is a star card and then the Two of Swords. This person feels like you don't deserve what you have or what you're getting. This person feels like they should have what you have. Why, why is it you? Why does it have to be you? Why not me type of person and energy? So this person definitely can't be happy for you because this is the type of person that had a lot of bad things to say about you. They looked down upon you or they basically never believed in you because they wanted all the fame and the glory and the attention for themselves or this person just did a lot behind the scenes all right to betray you or to hinder your growth you know or to leave you out in the cold this person was waiting for your downfall for some for some of you guys you went through a lot you went through an ordeal okay you went through a major rough patch in your energy or in your life you could be going through that now or you went through it already and, and now you're very protective of your energy. And if you're going through that now, this is your grand awakening. So the person that's been near you or this person that you thought was was helping you or that you could trust them, they were involved in causing you some sort of betrayal or major ending or, or a tower moment. All right. And now that you know this about this person, this person's still coming around you with, with, with a false mask. It's not working. All right. It's not working. This person can't even stand to be around you because... You're, you, you're a reflection of what they're not doing in their life. You're a reflection of the lies they told on you. You're a reflection of the fact that they're losing the, the competition, the fake competition that they're in by themselves with you. You're a reflection to their uh, insecurities. You know what I mean? So this person, like, they make excuses why they can't come around, why they can't see you, or why they haven't stopped by. This is somebody that's near and dear to your heart, probably, or that's close to you, but you're noticing lately that you can't be around this person, or you're noticing lately that... This person really doesn't like you or this person really just coming around but like for for appearances or, or facades or whatever but they can't stay around you too long this person will leave if this person comes around your energy if they come visit you if you bump into them if you see them at work or whoever this person is in your energy in your life if they can't be around you they're trying to avoid you this person now is trying to avoid you because they can't look at you in your eyes because you know what this person did and they know that you know what they did or what they were doing. All right? But you kind of feel bad for this person. Or you're just every, you're just so genuine. You're just so loving and forgiving. And you, even though you know what this person did, you don't wish them no harm. You just wish they would, they would just tell you the truth. Or you just wish that they would just surrender and let go of their resentment or their bitterness. And let go of, of their judgments. And let go of the past. And this person making themselves feel like a victim or that's how they, they have a victim mindset and somehow they blame you for whatever happened to them or maybe they want you to like pity them or feel bad for them so whenever they come around and they want something from you you could just give it to them but you're not doing that anymore you're not letting them play those emotional man manipulation tactics on you anymore so this person is now in the two of swords and mental prison they can't come around you because they can't stand to see you doing good or thriving it's because you're marrying out their insecurities and it's a reflection of what they're not doing and what they said about you going like coming back on them they know everything is backfiring this person is going to ghost you or they randomly ghost you and they randomly don't call you or contact you and then you don't hear from them and then they randomly pop up again when they're feeling confident about themselves enough to contact you again to put on a facade 
and they make up excuses of why you haven't heard from them. This person is just struggling with, with the fact that you're winning or that you're persevering and that you have this powerful light and energy. And when they come around you, you destroy their demon. You see right through them. Like, this person is nervous around you. They could be, like, um, I don't know, they're fidgety. They're nervous. They tell on themselves. They talk too much, and then they say something, and then you catch on to what they're saying. And this person is, just can't help themselves. They just can't, they can't stand you, or they don't like you, or they feel like you don't deserve your blessings. They feel like you deserve to be, like, down and out with nothing because they blame you for something that happened in their life, or they blame you for their deep-seated hate or resentment towards you, or they blame you for the fact that they can't validate themselves, and, uh, and you're so confident, and you love yourself regardless of what you've been through. You still hold yourself in high honor. They don't know how you're able to do that. You've been through everything. You've been through trauma, childhood trauma, abusive relationships. You've been through lies. You've been through a lot of se severe spiritual attacks set on you. You've been through losing everything and getting it back. You've been through it all, whoever you are. But this person doesn't feel like you've been through enough. This person still doesn't feel like you deserve what you have, even though you work for it. You got it out the mud. No one gave it to you. And if you haven't done this, then you're going to do this. And you're going to get something out of the mud. And you're going to put yourself in the winning position. And you're going to get uh, so enlightened and awakened and intuitive that nobody's going to be able to put you back in this mental trap. They're not going to make you feel like a victim. Or they're not going to be able to make you feel guilty or, or uh, have this spirit of guilt on you for something. You forgave yourself for your past mistakes because, like I said, that was not the highest version of yourself. That was the uh, mind-controlled version of yourself. That was the uh, low vibrational version of yourself. That was a version of yourself that thought you needed these people, that thought you needed validation, that the version of yourself that allowed other people to manipulate and control you, that's not who you are anymore. But it's not, it's okay. And you know, you don't have to blame yourself for those things. You don't have to feel bad about your past. Your past were your learning experiences to get to where you are now. Your past is what molded you into who you are now. Your past was orchestrated by these entities, demons, your family members, the watchers, the monitoring spirits, and these karmics that, that, that you dealt with. Yeah, that, that's why you went through that past. They orchestrated those things, but you, were, you had to go through those things. In order for you to awaken and become enlightened about, you know, to, to figure out and to remember who you are and why you're here and what's your purpose and your mission. Okay? So this person is the type of person or this person actively right now is upset because you're not in a competition with them. You're not paying them any mind. You're not giving them the energy they want from you. You're not reacting to them. You're just keeping yourself calm and collective. Okay? And you can read them when they're around you, but you still keep yourself cool. You know, you just keep taking notes. You just keep seeing the same patterns with this person. So since you're not angry, since you're not mad, since you're unbothered, this person's going to go out of their way. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> this person's going out of their way right now. And this person is going around telling people that, oh, so-and-so thinks they're too good because they got a little bit of this or a little bit of that. So-and-so thinks that, you know, that, you know, they're too good for us now. They're switched up or this person switched up. Like, they're not even helping me. They're not there. Meanwhile, you're always willing to help this person even though you know what they did. They have the audacity to sit there and tell people you're not helping them. But why aren't they telling people what they actually did to you, what they actually put you through, uh, all the betrayals and the lies and orchestrated tower moments that they caused you? Um, why don't they go around telling people that? Okay, why don't they tell people that even in spite of it all, you're still kind enough and generous enough to hear them out or to give them some advice or to give them a plate of food or even to be uh, still dealing with them at all. But that's not enough for them. They want everything you have. They want everything you work for. They want it all. They feel entitled and they feel like you shouldn't even have it. And this is sad. And this is really sad. This is the energy I'm picked up on. This karmic wants you to be in the Ten of Swords, but you're not in the Ten of Swords. You got yourself out of the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords in the reverse is that you're no longer losing sleep. It's that you're sleeping well at night. You should be sleeping well at night. If you're not sleeping well at night, then listen to some God scripture meditations before you go to bed. Listen to some high vibrational frequencies or meditation music, relaxation music before you go to bed. Do some, some sort of therapy. Take a hot, nice hot bath at night before you go to bed with some Epsom salt. Relax your energy. But you don't need to lose no sleep. 
All right, whoever you are, you're not losing any sleep. And this is what's bothering this individual. This uh, person could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like I said. This person could be a Scorpio because the Scorpio energy is in the reverse. This person could be a Leo for some of you guys. All right. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or Taurus, or Virgo. All right. You're not losing sleep, but this person is doing everything in their power to try to uh, lower your vibration, to try to make you feel some type of way, to try to make you feel like ugh, you care about what they're doing. Somebody's doing something to get your attention. I don't know if they're posting things online and trying to get your reaction, or if this person is just like purposely ignoring you on purpose to get your reaction, to see if you contact them like, hey, why you're not? Da -da -da. You're not doing that either. You, you could care less, but you already picked up on this person's pattern. This person's angry because you have victory. This person's angry because you're manifesting your reality. All right? Somebody could be 53 or 28 years old. This person, this karmic female and this karmic masculine in the reverse. Here goes Poison Ivy and Debo. They're defeated. They're defeated. They try to get you in a competition. They try to bring up your past to destroy you and ruin your reputation. They don't have anything new to talk about, so they keep trying to bring up your past. Now they're making things up. All right, nobody wants to hear them anymore. Nobody wants to listen. All right, this karmic right here, if she had money, if she had fortune, if she had wealth, she's losing it all. This karmic masculine right now is under judgment. All right, this karmic masculine is under judgment, overindulging, losing sleep, and um, trying to figure out how they can easily manipulate their way back into your energy, and there's no easy way in. So all they can do is watch you online, troll you online, or use devices and, and technology to try to, like, uh, lower your vibration or try to uh, send you some sort of dark frequency or energy through the phone or the television or some sort of device in your home is giving you, like, a bad frequency. You could hear, like, maybe you guys are hearing, like, a loud pitch sound in your home or some sort of frequency. It's giving you headaches. It's making you fatigue. You know, those are energy weapons. These people know how to use energy weapons. And like I already said, you guys are dealing with the watchers. You guys are dealing with the Watchers organization, all this stuff. So, yeah, they're under judgment. Yeah, someone is crooked, okay? So, yeah, somebody's crooked, but they're getting exposed. Somebody could be losing their license, okay? That's what I heard. So, somebody who's supposed to be professional, and you could have worked with this person, or this person um, helped you with something, they're losing their license. That's what I heard. Because you're becoming so spiritually wise. You need to take a spiritual bath, or you have been, all right? You're happy and joyful, and that's bothering them. All right, so the messages that I got on my notebook basically said, it's time for you to switch it up. It's time for you to switch something up. It's time for you to be careful who you're talking to because somebody here could be recording you or recording a conversation, or they have recorded a conversation that you guys had, and you didn't know this person was recording. You could have said something about somebody else. This person literally baited you into this conversation. So somebody's going to call you if this hasn't already happened. This could be a warning for some. So for some, this already happened. So that's why you got to say less and be careful who you're speaking to. Um, because especially if you're speaking about somebody else, it's best not to entertain that kind of stuff. Don't let somebody bait you into gossiping about somebody else or to get you to comment about how you feel about somebody else because they're recording it. And they're doing this strategically on purpose. So start conflict and drama so somebody can literally make you look like the bad guy. All right, so anyways, somebody could be trying to call you, contact you, or have a personal conversation with you. Maybe you think you can trust this person. Maybe you think that this person is on your side. Maybe you feel like this person doesn't mess with these people that you don't talk to, but they really do. This person is going to come towards you as if they're oblivious about what's going on with you and these people and what they've been doing to you. So these people could be several people. It could be, it could be Poison Ivy, Shrek, Fiona, these people, these characters that you guys are dealing with, Cruella. All right, the sea witch. They're going to come to you talking about somebody else, but they're going to record your conversation. They're going to try to start some conflict, chaos, or drama. Or they're, this person's actively doing that, or they did. All right, so be careful who you're talking to because this is not necessary. All right, you thought you were having a private conversation. You thought this conversation was between you and this person. But apparently, no, this person has been recording you or they're going to try to do this because they've been sent in. This person has been compromised and they are working with these people or this individual. They're connected to they're connected to them. So when you hear your intuition tell you this person's connected to your ops, this person's connected to your ex, 
This person connected to you. Then, then believe that intuition. Believe the voice you heard and believe your ancestors. Because God is trying to protect you from these snakes that are coming to you left and right strategically. Trying to get you stuck and trapped. So get out of your comfort zone. All right? Because you have a higher calling. And this old timeline isn't resonating anymore. You're at the end of the book. You're writing the last chapter of your life right now. You're about to evolve into a whole new existence, a whole new energy. You're on a new level. So you're at the end of your book. You're at the last chapter of your book. You're writing the end of your story. And once you write the end, that's it. It's over. Do not prolong your destiny or do not block your own destiny by keeping the same people in your energy and allowing them to occupy time and space in your energy and they're not supposed to be coming onto your new timeline. That means that you're not finishing your book. You're not writing the end in your story. You have to write the end in your story in order to move on. You have to be okay with that. Every book has a beginning and every book has an ending. Just like our lives. We always have an ending of our lives and we, we always have a beginning of our lives and then there's always an ending. All right? So these people were not meant to like be in your life forever or they were not meant to come where you're going. So you're shutting the door on somebody or you're like not indulging in, in going back and forth with them anymore or you're not competing with them because they can't compete where they can't compare. But you're not the type of person to be boastful. You're not the type of person to think you're better than anyone else. You're not that type of person. And that's exactly why you're not indulging in this competition. They're by themselves with it. And they're very angry. And this person's delusional. So they want you to get your reaction. So they're going to come tell you something crazy. It could be bad news. It could be, oh my God, this happened. Oh my God, such and such. Or I da 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 da. Or da da da. Or they're going to try to have an argument. Whatever they are, they want to get your reaction. They want to get you upset. And they want to lower your vibration. And then I have a specific message about somebody that's Baba Yaga energy. All right? Somebody that's harnessing the energy of a child or children. So be careful where you're leaving your kids at. Be careful who's watching your children or babysitting or, or around your kids because there's somebody around you or your kids. It could be a babysitter. It could be a family member. It could be a lover. It could be a grandmother, uh, somebody who's obsessed with your child. Somebody's obsessed with your child. And this is not an older. This child is not older. This child is 10 years old or younger. Somebody's obsessed with this child. They're siphoning the energy of this child or these children. All right? This person is asking your child personal questions about you when you're not around. Okay, this person is working with dark forces and they're being dismantled and, dis and, and destroyed because they're siphoning energy from your child and they're obsessed with your child. They want to be your child's mother or their guardian or they want to just like manipulate your child in some sort of way. Your gifts are heart heightening, okay? That was a specific message for somebody. They ran out of tricks and you're seeing... The, and, and, and Okay, so these people ran out of tricks and now they're starting to see their future. So somebody here spooked out because they had a dream and basically in the dream they saw themselves in the dream and they were all messed up in life. They were in a bad compromising situation in their dream. They were not doing so well in their dream. So this person knows that that's what's coming for their future because they know they've been caught in your energy. They've been caught for some sort of crimes. They've been caught. The truth is out. Whatever's been going on, game over. It's a wrap. Spirit's rounding them up. Rounding them up. And they're going to have to answer in spiritual court and in actual court for their crimes against you. Okay, so they know this. So the, their demons are desperate. They're desperate. So be careful. At this point, you got to be careful who you're letting in your energy. You got to be careful with what you eat, what you drink, who's around you. You can't trust everybody. If there's an op in your energy, remove them. Okay? Because you're getting a, some sort of download or message about what you're supposed to be doing. It's like a higher calling. And you could be putting it off. Or maybe you're not working on it because, like I said, you need to get rid of this energetic blockage. Or these energy vampires. Or this individual that keeps trying to siphon from your energy. Or trying to put roadblocks in your path. And trying to uh, create some sort of stagnancy in your life. They ran out of tricks. Like I said. Okay, so there's a karmic woman and a okay, so there's a, a woman and a son, all right, that are having sex. Okay, this is disgusting, and I'm sorry I have to say this, but this this involves some sort of incest. So this uh, karmic woman that's sleeping with her own son, she's an older lady. She's a dark high priestess, warlock witch. Okay, she's connected with the coven, and they do some sort of incest sexual rituals for Satan, and this has been going on. 
and somebody's picking up on this energy, your ancestors are telling you that this person is actually doing something with their own mom and you're, you're, you're probably grossed out or freaked out. Maybe you think you're just paranoid, but this is a confirmation for somebody watching my video. Somebody sleeping with their own mom or somebody sleeping with their own daughter, father, or mother. Okay, son or daughter. This is gross. They're doing rituals for Satan. And this is something that is going to shock you or it's going to be exposed or it's going to be... It's somehow it's coming out to the light. Okay, so that's what I'm getting about that. All right, some sort of incest. Some sort of mysterious package could come to your house, Aries. Don't open it. Don't touch it with your hands. Put some gloves on, remove it, and throw it down the river or just put it away from your home and leave it somewhere else. I'm getting on mysterious packages that are being sent to your house or a package and they're putting some sort of voodoo or hex on it. So as soon as you touch it or open it, it's like a cursed object. It, it just affects you. All right? I know you're protected, whoever you are, and even if you touch your ancestors, you're going to make sure nothing happens to you. But just don't touch it. If you get a mysterious package, this is your confirmation. All right? Somebody's doing this. They're so relentless because you won't let them in. You don't want nothing to do with people. They're, they're having a hard time getting you to open up to other people or to, to <laughs> do something in your energy. They're desperate. So they might be using mysterious packages. All right, my love? So if you're ordering DoorDash, Uber Eats, just go pick up your food yourself. Because they could be using these weird drivers, ha body hacking them to put something in your food. Or maybe they're doing this. I don't know. Like, every time you eat something, you, you could be feeling sick, ill, swollen, uh, dizzy, headaches, uh, fatigue. That's a confirmation. Something is lowering your vibration that you're eating or you're drinking. Or somebody's giving you something. All of a sudden, you feel depleted. Pick up on this energy, my loves. Protect yourselves. I love you guys. All right. Until the next time, namaste.